today we're headed out and it's going to be the longest ride that we've taken so far on the, on the electric bikes. Yes. We're going to be at the West Orange Trail, which is a huge trail. It starts over by Lake Apopka. Uh -huh. And um, we're not starting at the very, very beginning because um, we want to start at a place that's going to get us to a spot around lunchtime. Yeah. So we're starting at a place called Wheelworks. And uh, you can actually rent bikes there. So if you don't have a bike, you can rent bikes there. They rent all kinds of bikes. Different kinds, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tandem bikes, uh, regular like mountain bikes. The recumbent. The recumbent trikes. Yeah, and you can even get electric bikes. Yes. And the price range is anywhere from fifteen dollars an hour up to like thirty to thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. But you can rent by the half day, which is a little more expensive. But for us, it's going to be pretty much a free day because we already have our bikes. Yes. So um, we're going to start there, and we're going to ride about fourteen miles or so. It's going to take us to a little place called Lilies on the Lake, which is on Lake Mineola. Yes. And. Um, once we get done eating lunch there, about four more miles is where the trail ends. Uh, we'll turn around there and then we'll head back. And on the way back, there is a disc golf course. Yes. So we might stop and play around at disc golf. And um, there's no telling. We've never been on this trail before, so we don't know exactly what's along the way. There might be some cool stuff. So Hopefully. we'll definitely be filming and we'll let you know how the trail is. It's all in all total, it's going to be about a 35 mile ride today. So, um, not too bad. The weather is perfect. Beautiful. It's only supposed to be like 80 and low humidity. And there's a little breeze going today too, so it's going to be pretty cool. We're actually, we're vlogging in the truck on the way there because we're running a little late. And yeah. we're going to get to the, to the wheel works at a, a little after 11. It's going to take us a little over an hour to get over to Lily's. So, um, we will strap the GoPro to the bikes and we'll take you along with us and we'll let you know if this trail is worth riding. <laughs> Here we go. Right, this is the mid ride update. <laughs> Not really mid, it's more like three quarters. Return update. <laughs> well, we left oh. at around 11. We were gonna ride out to a restaurant well, over actually, there. Actually, it was more like 11.15. Once we got the bikes yeah. out, put them together, you know, got settled. We were expecting about an hour ride to get out to the restaurant. What it, what, what it doesn't show on Google Maps so the West Orange Trail is just a green line and it shows on the Google Maps that the green line goes straight out to the restaurant but they don't show you that is in reality there are pieces of the trail that branch off yeah. or turn in random directions and you don't really know which way to go and so we chose poorly <laughs> <laughs> and went the wrong way and we went the wrong way and we started hitting a lot of uphill. A lot of uphill. And it was killing our battery. Like killing it fast. And, and killing my thighs. Yeah, so my I'm like, are exhausted oh, I was like, heavily. we're not to the restaurant. <laughs> I don't know where the restaurant is. We are under half power on the bikes. Abort. <laughs> <laughs> Abort. Abort mission. Oh God! <laughs> oh. Luckily, because we had so much uphill on the way there, we caught some good downhills on the way back. Yeah. Uh, we have not eaten. Uh, yeah. It's a quarter till one, so we've Teetering already... on the verge of hangry. <laughs> yeah, so an hour and a half into the ride yeah. now, and we haven't eaten, and we were expecting to eat about 45 minutes ago. We still got about five miles before we even get back to where we started from. So we gotta ride those five miles, mm -hmm. hope the battery doesn't die on the way. I don't think it will. No, I don't think it is. 
because we recharged a lot on those downhills. Yeah. We got a lot of that juice back. Yeah. And, um, but, so we got to go five miles back to the truck, and then we got to pack everything up, and then we got to go find some place to eat. Hopefully there's something. I don't remember passing stuff on the way in, but we Wasn't even sure paying we attention, did. because yeah. we were going to go to, yeah. we were going to go to Lily's, and uh, didn't make it. There wasn't a ton. I was expecting it to be a little more scenic too. There wasn't a ton of great cool stuff to see. No. But it has been uh, pretty shaded. Yeah. Um, for the most shaded. part flat until we got toward that where There's we got lost hills. and There's stuff. Inclines. And uh, yeah, <laughs> note to self, bring <sighs> snacks because <laughs> if you get lost, yeah. you're hungry. I mean, we have uh, we have water. Yeah. We brought some waters, but we didn't bring food because we were thought, hey, we're going, to we're going to the food place. Yeah. So now by the time we get to a food place. I'm going to devour everything I order. Yeah, we're going to be pretty <laughs> hungry. So uh, we just want to give you a little update along the way. We'll talk to you a little more once we get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> got fueled up with some pizzas <laughs> yeah and well you had a salad too but yeah. we got fueled up and um, we didn't get to do a lot of the stuff that we said we were gonna, we said we were gonna go to the end of the trail <laughs> didn't do that no said we were gonna go to Lily's by the lake didn't yeah. do that said we we're gonna go do disc golf didn't do yeah. that um, the only thing we said that we were gonna do that we actually did was ride bikes on the trail <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's still early and yeah. we're fueled up now, mm -hmm. so I think we're going to drive over to the disc golf course. Yeah. Probably play around over there. So we're finally out um, disc golfing again. We haven't disc golfed since Savannah. No. Um, when you were, uh, when, yeah, when you were trying to lose all them discs. <laughs> and uh, the plan was today to, to bike out to here. The trail is right over across the road, it so is. it does actually lead here. We just couldn't. Either, we couldn't. A, we couldn't find it, and B, I don't know if our battery would have made it, and then that would have been a. 20 mile pedal back Ooh, with no man. juice. No help. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so we just drove out here to the disc golf course. It looks like a pretty pretty good course. Yeah. Um, wide open. I mean, there's some trees and stuff, but it looks like a really, shouldn't as long get, as we can navigate it. Shouldn't give me too much trouble. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes finding the tees and finding the baskets are the hardest, the hardest part. part yeah. But other than that, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think yeah. we're going to have fun at this course today. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. It's 398 feet from where we're at to the red basket par four um i don't know if you can see the red basket with the gopro because it doesn't zoom but way up there on the other side of these bushes <laughs> is where the basket is yeah holy crap <laughs> i didn't even get halfway there man Damn, he hit a tree right out the gate. Put him out. I'm out here. <laughs> Put him out. I can see the basket. I didn't even see it in the camera. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. She got the tree. She got the tree. We are one third of the way through this deal and <laughs> we're struggling. Yeah. These are the farthest distance wise. Yeah. And they're still par three and par fours. But Some one five so far. Yeah. But, but you got, I mean, it's, it's far. It's a, it's far. Hurl your whole body into your throat. Yeah. But it, it's, for the most part, it's open out here. Yeah. So it would be very difficult to lose a disc out here. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's just beautiful. I mean, it's shaded everywhere you go, so it's yeah. not like you walk around in the heat. So, all in all, pretty decent course so far. Yes. We'll let you know what our scores are at the end. Cool. It's going to be quite embarrassing. Mine's going to be more like a bowling score. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, and when you get done at the basket, the next tee is like... Quarter mile. <laughs> yeah. So, 
most of them from the tee to the basket is somewhere between two and three hundred feet. Yeah. And then once you get done with the basket, the next tee is like two, three hundred feet. feet. <laughs> so it's really like walking two entire courses, really only shooting one course, but walking two. Yeah. So uh, getting our steps in today. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hot. Yeah. It's not hot. Well, we're getting plenty of opportunities to be able to vlog in between holes because yeah. they're so far apart. <laughs> <laughs> we're halfway through so we'll give you a halfway update um i am shooting a plus three and leslie is shooting a plus 15. <laughs> now now in her defense she can't throw it as far as i can not even close so when we on your initial tee shot it usually takes her about two to sometimes two, to three throws. Two to three throws just to get to, to, get to my first throw. throw. Yeah. yeah. So um, I wish that there was, because we use the U Disc app, and I wish that there was a way on there where you could calculate handicaps yeah. and um, without just manually taking a stroke off, stroke off. you yeah. know. But, um, and we, we, we are trying to work out a system on how we can do that to make it more fair and competitive. Just because of the sheer power of my my drive is way, way more powerful than, than yours. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, it's still, we're just having fun. <laughs> we will let you know at the end where we're at. So you're on pace for a plus 30. Yeah. <laughs> Go for a, my bowling <laughs> score, man. <laughs> and I'm on pace for a plus six. So we'll see where we end up. All right, folks, let me show you how to disc off, okay? This is probably, I don't know, 25, 30 foot. I'm gonna drain this thing from right here. <laughs> Ready? Oh! oh. Talking all that <laughs> Talking that <laughs> That would have been a birdie too. <laughs> it's gonna be far now. Hole 18. Same time. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> well, it wasn't a typical video. No. Or something you probably would put together a, a day that was not like our normal travel adventures, RV stuff. Yeah. So, you know, biking and disc golf and stuff. So the final score, <laughs> boom. Now keep in mind, par was 65 on 18 holes. Um, I shot a plus five, so I shot 70. Um, halfway through, I was at plus three, so I shot better. And I was on track to be a plus six. And you shot a <laughs> 91, Woo! which is 26 over par. But halfway, you were plus 15. I'm on track for a plus 30. So actually, you did four strokes better on the back nine than you did on the front. So maybe you found your groove. And, and <laughs> I mean, this is by far the worst we have ever shot on any course. God, yes. Um, just because this is a super challenging course. These were a lot longer distance than yeah. we're used to. And yeah, I was getting ready to say not obstacle wise, but distance wise, yeah. these were long, I have to throw long twice shots. as many times as yeah. you do. So, I mean, a par three, I mean, you really have to, you really have to get after it to get it anywhere in the vicinity of being able to be have a chance for, yeah. for a par. And I did um, not. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, again, I, I know this is not a typical normal video that we do, but we had such a fun day today. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we're wore out, and yeah, uh, yeah. now we're headed back to the to the RV. But we appreciate you hanging out with us today. Uh, the one thing that we are gonna do still that we normally do <laughs> is we're gonna honor a fallen hero at the end of this video. So stick around for a few seconds for that. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.